Welcome, prospective Helix students and families. I'm Kevin Osborne, the Executive Director of Helix Charter High School. I want to thank you for your interest in attending Helix. During this presentation, you will hear about our efforts to change our students' lives and to help our students reach their academic and personal potential. At the end of the presentation, we will share the steps your family will need to take to have an opportunity to be enrolled at Helix. Helix High School has been serving the Mesa, Lemon Grove, and Spring Valley communities well for over 70 years. During our first five decades, we were a traditional comprehensive high school that offered a six period day and students were sorted into honors, college prep, applied arts, and remedial classes. For the most part, this traditional schedule served our students fairly well in the early years. By the light 1980s and 90s, it became clear that the traditional school schedule was no longer meeting the needs of our student body. Helix students were performing in the bottom third in the Grossmont District on standardized test scores, graduation rates, and college readiness rates. 20 to 30 percent of our students were failing classes, and approximately 300 students who entered the ninth grade each year were not graduating four years later. Unfortunately, the gap in student performance at Helix and in the state for our lowest performing subgroups of students and our highest performing subgroups was growing at an alarming rate. Students of color and economically disadvantaged students at Helix were being underserved. As educators, we recognized that something had to change in order to address the growing achievement gap for underserved students. In the late 1990s, we started collaborating and considering innovative changes to implement in an effort to address the achievement gap of our underserved students. However, status quo forces in education presented roadblocks to implementing many of our innovative ideas. Eventually, after much deliberation and debate, we converted to a charter school in 1998. We became one of the first comprehensive conversion charter schools in California. It is important to note that as a conversion charter school, we are required to serve our neighborhood students first and foremost, and they make up approximately 70 to 80 percent of our student body, with the other 20 to 30 percent of the students coming from the greater San Diego County area. Also, our student body reflects the overall diversity in San Diego County and in the state of California, with just over 60 percent of our students qualifying for free and reduced lunch. The charter provided our school community the autonomy to innovate and collaborate in exchange for accountability and improving student outcomes. Two decades of effective collaboration and innovation has led to Helix being recognized as one of the top performing schools in the state of California and in the nation. This chart comparing the percentage of students in 2021-22 meeting or exceeding standard in 11th grade English language arts at Helix and in the state indicates that all student subgroups at Helix significantly outperform their counterparts in the state. In fact, you can see from the red line that every subgroup at Helix outperforms the highest subgroup in the state. This chart, comparing the percentage of students in 21-22 meeting or exceeding standard in 11th grade Algebra 2 at Helix and in the state, indicates that all student subgroups at Helix significantly outperform their counterparts in the state. In fact, you can see again from this red line that every subgroup at Helix outperforms the highest performing subgroup in the state. This chart comparing the percentage of students graduating in 2021 at Helix and in the state indicates that all student subgroups at Helix graduate at a higher rate than their counterparts in the state. Again, uh, the red line indicates that every subgroup at Helix graduates at a higher rate than the highest subgroup in the state. This chart comparing the percentage of students 
meeting the UC CSU A to G college entrance requirements for public colleges and universities in 2021 indicates that almost all students in every subgroup at Helix meet the public college entrance requirements. Again, you can see from the red line that 57% or fewer students in the state meet the college entrance requirements. These graphs indicate that Helix is doing a great job of addressing the achievement gap and improving outcomes for all students. We are hopeful that this data indicates that our students have been providing <clears throat> provided the learning experiences that helped them find success in college and or career. The question is, how is Helix defying the odds and improving outcomes for all students as compared to other high schools? The answer is the Highlander Way. The Highlander Way focuses on setting high expectations for all students and providing high levels of support. Our educational reform efforts have focused on effective collaboration and innovation aimed at aligning our resources to provide all students with challenging and rigorous learning opportunities and the support necessary for them to successfully access these opportunities. One of the most important efforts we made was in addressing the attitude gap. Too often, schools have undersold students. For example, many educators and our communities have perpetuated the myth that math is just not for all students. As educators, we have committed to believing in all students' potential. We view students from an assets-based lens and focus on their strengths while meeting them where they are and helping them address their challenges. We revamped our mission to provide a comprehensive education that prepares all students to graduate college ready and equipped to reach their personal and academic potential. We decided long ago that we were no longer going to pick and choose which students we are going to prepare for college. Instead, we are choosing to prepare all students for the opportunity to attend college so that it is their choice of whether to go to college or enter the workforce right after high school. We know the skills and learning experiences they are pro pro provided in preparing for college will sell, serve them well regardless of what they choose after high school. We clarified our vision as striving to close the achievement gap through effective collaboration and innovative practices. We challenged ourselves to buy into a shared leadership model focused on researching and implementing best practices and taking risks to better serve all of our students. Two of the most important Innovative efforts have been implementing the 4x4 block system and double dosing math. In the 4x4 block schedule, students have the opportunity to take three or four 90 minute classes a day each term. And there are two terms each year, one in the fall and one in the spring. This schedule affords students the opportunity to focus on fewer subjects at one time and focus on depth of learning their subjects rather than breadth. Moreover, the 4x4 block schedule allows students to take up to eight total classes for the year instead of the typical six. The two extra periods afford students the opportunity to take extra elective classes, community college dual enrollment classes, concurrent academic support classes, participate in work experience, and or remediate failed classes during the year rather than only having summer school as an option. In the 4x4 block schedule, teachers teach three periods per day and have a 90-minute preparation period. Teachers teach approximately 90 students rather than the typical 175 students. Having fewer students and longer preparation periods provides teachers the time to more thoroughly review their students' work and assessments, as well as more time to plan and design curriculum and instruction. Finally, the 4x4 block allows the school to double dose math instruction. Knowing math is the gatekeeper to a college education and, and knowing that some students struggle to learn abstract math, students at Helix take math all year for 90 minutes rather than the typical 50 minutes in other schools. 
This allows teachers to slow down and appropriately pace instruction and learning in the class. It allows teachers to reteach and reassess students throughout the year. Also, students only have two or three other classes to focus on, and they still have room to sign up for concurrent support class if they need additional support. The 4x4 schedule also has supported our efforts in closing the opportunity gap by making AP and dual enrollment community college courses accessible to all students, unlike most other high schools that just aren't able to offer these dual enrollment classes. The, new, the unique nature of the 4x4 schedule has allowed for the growth of community college course offerings on our campus because of the longer block schedule that aligns with college classes and the opportunity for students to take a seventh or eighth class. The growth of dual enrollment courses also gives students an alternative for earning guaranteed college credits rather than relying on passing an AP exam in a course that some colleges and universities may or may not grant credit. Since we believe that all students have the potential and ability to attend college after high school, we adopted a graduation requirement that all students must take and pass at least one AP class or a three-unit community college dual enrollment class. This chart illustrates the growth in the number of college-bearing AP and dual enrollment courses our students are successfully completing on an annual basis. In 2016, our students successfully earned 634 college course credits through passing an AP exam at three or higher. This past year, our students earned 1,598 credits through the combination of passing AP exams and community college courses. We believe that once a student experiences success in either an AP or dual enrollment course, the possibility of going to college becomes more realistic choice for them. Also, the unique nature of the 4x4 block schedule also has supported the growth and development of career technical education opportunities. We are currently offering four CT pathways in the high-wage, high-need areas of education, business, sports medicine, and biotechnology. In each of these pathways, students experience introductory and concentrator courses related to these fields and there are extracurricular opportunities for students to participate in related clubs and activities. Many of the pathways have several dual enrollment offerings such as accounting and personal finance. We are actively pursuing internships and externships and certification opportunities in each career path. We are also working on developing a fifth CTA pathway in the field of computer technology that will be available to students in the near future. We also provided opportunities for all students to experience and express authentic learning experiences through the completion of 40 hours of community service and participating in mid-high school and senior boards. Their, during their board presentations, students reflect on and share their learning experiences, growth, and development as their as well as their future plans with a panel of community members. These authentic learning experiences strengthen our students' abilities to reflect on and communicate their learning. Helix continues to close the opportunity gap by requiring all students to participate in a performing arts or visual art. Over the years, Helix has added a variety of course offerings in theater, dance, vocal music, instrumental music, speech, debate, art, and digital art. Recently, we've added numerous courses that receive community college credit in the visual and performing arts department. Helix is one of the largest, most comprehensive and successful sports programs in San Diego County and in the state of California. In an effort to provide more opportunities for students to connect to school through athletics, we have added non-traditional sports such as field hockey, lacrosse, and sand volleyball. We have also worked hard to upgrade our facilities to support our athletic programs. Our upgraded gym, weight room, and fitness room and training room rivals 
most community colleges in the state. In addition to the increased expectations and opportunities, Helix provides students with high levels of support. That support begins with being assigned to a grade level team, or a, as we call it, GLT, composed of a grade level principal, counselor, academic advisor, social worker, and administrative assistant for all four years. GLTs help ensure students receive the social, emotional, and academic supports they need in high school to reach their full academic and personal potential. GLTs are able to refer their students to our Wellness Center to get social emotional support from five school social workers in individual and group settings. The, so the social workers also refer students and families for additional support through our community partners and agencies. Helix offers an extensive academic support program. Approximately 40 paraprofessional academic coaches or tutors provide students support in small group settings to develop organizational skills, study skills, and to achieve academic success in high school. All students in ninth grade are required to participate in the academic support program. Students in 10th through 12th grade may choose to participate or they may be required to participate if they are struggling to achieve success in their classes. Helix offers an extensive Aspire program before and after school. It's funded by the federal government. The Aspire program offers one and two hour programs geared towards students' interest and needs. Examples include yoga, club college, DJ club, architecture, construction, engineering club. Every term, new offerings are developed and based on student and staff interests and advocations. Helix offers extensive support for students to plan for their future. All students have access to the College and Career Center staffed by two full-time employees. The center provides a two-hour after-school club college program once a week to assist students with their college planning and applications. Moreover, Helix provides all students the opportunity to participate in our College for Me program. We like to call our College for Me program C for Me. The program provides opportunities for students to visit college and universities throughout California on one day and multi-day trips throughout their first three years in high school. At Helix, we support our students' success by also supporting our teachers' growth and development. Teachers are assigned to course-level teams to collaborate and support each other in developing course curriculum, assessments, and implementing best instructional practices. Teacher growth is further supported by a team of six teachers on special assignment who are provided release time to provide te individual teacher support through reflective cognitive coaching and to plan whole school professional development for the entire faculty. In 2000, only 329 students graduated out of more than 650 ninth graders who entered Helix four years earlier. And unfortunately, less than 50% of those graduates met the UC A to G college entrance requirements. After two decades of innovation and collaboration under the charter that led to the implementation of the Highlander Way, which is focused on high expectations, increased opportunities, and high levels of support, there has been transformational growth in the graduation and college readiness rates. As the chart illustrates, two decades later, Helix is graduating well over 500 students. And in fact, the last year, we graduated 550 students. Now almost every student that graduates meets the UC A to G college entrance requirements. This is an amazing growth and we have much to be proud of. However, there is still more than 100 or one in seven students that enter the ninth grade and fail to graduate at Helix. This is unacceptable. We have a goal to graduate over 600 students that are college ready for future graduating classes. If you choose Helix, 
We need students to attend school on time every day. 80% of the battle is showing up. We need students and their families to have a growth mindset. If students are struggling in math, we can't give up and make tired excuses that they can't do math. Instead, we must have the attitude that they have not learned the math yet, but with extra effort and support, we all know they can and will learn it. When students struggle academically, students must be willing to enroll in academic support classes and or attend teacher tutorials. When students struggle emotionally, they must be willing to accept support to develop the resiliency to overcome their circumstances. All students should be committed to getting involved in clubs, performing arts, athletics, or another extracurricular activity. If all this sounds good to you, and you are ready to learn the meaning of once a Scotty, always a Scotty, then continue listening to Helix alumnus and grade level principal, Mrs. Elena Smith, for all the steps you must take to have a chance to join our Scotty family. Thank you, for Mr. Osborne, for sharing the Helix story and who we are. Based on the commitment of students, family, and staff, we were awarded the National Blue Ribbon Award in 2022. The National Blue Ribbon Schools program recognizes outstanding public and non-public schools and is an important part of the United States Department of Education. The program celebrates school excellence, turnaround stories, and the closing subgroup achievement gaps. Helix will continue our efforts to move from good to great. My name is Elena Smith and I am a Helix alumni class of 1990. I currently oversee educational services at Helix and over the next few slides I will review that application process. Understanding this process and the expectations is the only way to enroll in the lottery. Again, understanding this process and the expectations is essential. All families must complete this process in order to enroll. Whether you live in our boundaries or you live outside our boundaries, it is essential to utilize this process for enrollment in lottery. First, let me cover the lottery priorities at Helix. As you can see on the screen, there is an order, order of lottery selection. Siblings of returning students, residents in the Helix attendance boundary, children of employees, students making a two-year commitment to the bagpipe program, and students who reside in the Grossmont Unified High School District boundaries have a 60% weighted preference, and those outside those boundaries have a 40% weighted preference. I want to talk to the commitment number four, which is a two-year commitment to the bagpipe program. This is essential that your student is committed to that program and going to participate for two years. Should a student opt to drop that program, during that second year, they would be dropping their enrollment at Helix. Additionally, there will be an inf informational meeting in January for those families that are interested in bagpipes. Both a parent and guardian or a student and student must attend that mandatory meeting to opt for bagpipes as their priority for enrollment at Helix. Helix utilizes SchoolMint, an online enrollment platform for our lottery process. Understanding it, and its expectations is again the only way to enroll in our lottery. All families must complete this process. You must submit an um, application by March 1st at 3 p.m. SchoolMint will send you a confirmation email within 48 hours of submitting your application. If you do not receive that email, you may want to contact us at enrollment at helixcharter.net or simply log back into SchoolMint and make sure you've hit the proper submit button. Submitting more than one application per student will result in both applications being rejected, so please discuss amongst your family who will be submitting the application for your student. SchoolMint online application will create an, you will have to go in and create an account with accurate information for that application. Make sure that you capitalize the names of people, streets, and states. Also make sure that your address is accurate. It's essential that we have accurate data because everything that you put in SchoolMint will roll into our student information system should you be enrolled. So please, again, remember that all your streets, your states, and everything is accurately typed. Make sure that your phone number and your email address is accurate. Again, inaccurate info will result in application being rejected. We do require the uploading of documents during the application process. You must follow the directions to complete this process. If you need additional resources to submit application and upload documents, the Helix website will have information for you in a guide. What you must upload are your student's birth certificate, 
I know that on school minute it says that a passport is available and acceptable, but for school enrollment at Helix, we must see a student's birth certificate. The reason being we need to see the parent guardian name and we need to see the student names on the same document. So we will also review that to make sure it is accurate. We will also need two forms of address verification. Once those forms of address verification are reviewed, we would then go through and accept you for that lottery process. Current contact info is critical. We ask that you use an email for contact. Do not choose the text or cell phone. Even though it's an option in SchoolMint, all of our communication with families will be via email through uh, April of this year. Residency verification is essential. Your address on your application must be verified with two items, and all of those documents will be reviewed and verified before being placed in a lottery. Um, we'll need two different current documents. Each document must have the following, parent and guardian name and address, this must be the parent or guardian who the student lives with. Current document must be dated within 45 days of school mint submission. So this would be the last bill or an incoming bill, um, the last statement that you have. Talks about the file type there so that when you upload it into school mint, it should be one of these um, .pdf, .jpeg, um, and no more than the size 20 MB. The reason being is it won't upload into the system. So the system will tell you that. So try that, see if you can make that accurate, and then try uploading again if it doesn't accept. Examples of residency documents. Remember again, we have to see the parent guardian name and address. So usually on that first page would be what we wanna see. It could be your deed, escrow papers, mortgage statement, or rental or lease agreement. Um, current bills from a local utility company are also acceptable. Um, right now, we do not accept credit card statements or, phone, or cell phone bills. So it needs to be something from a local utility company like power, water, cable, or internet provider, your trash and waste. Um, property tax statements, official driver's license or California ID with your current address. Other government or business documents we could evaluate to see if that would be um, accessible for your verification of residency. The instructions to enroll. Finally, the slide you've been waiting for. In order to apply for the lottery, you go to the following link, helixcharter.schoolmint.net backslash sign up. You will go to this link and you will, you will basically create an account and then uh, submit your information for your student for enrollment. You wanna complete this application no later than March 1st by 3 p.m. Again, be sure to hit submit. Remember, you should get an email confirmation from SchoolMint within 48 hours. If you don't get that confirmation, you will not have submitted your application. So you may need to log back in to ensure that you submitted, or again, you can email us at enrollment at helixcharter.net. It's essential that you have access to the email you use and that you know the password. What's next? After you submitted your application, lottery will be drawn and an email notification will be sent to all families by 8 p.m. on March 10th. If you are accepted, you must log into your Schoolman account to accept your offer within 48 hours. Or you can choose to withdraw your application if you've changed your mind and have decided not to attend Helix. You want to make sure that you withdraw if you do not plan to attend so that you hold, do not hold up a seat for another family who is planning to attend. Once you accept, you are committed to the following items. Student orientation, which for, is for ninth grade in April and for upper grades in June. You'll also be committed to attending Spring Fling for all students in May. Spring Fling is an exhibition of all clubs, activities, and organizations offered on campus, as well as an opportunity to meet and greet with staff and other students and you are still committed to summer conferencing for all students in June. Summer conferencing is an opportunity to meet with your grade level team, the team members that will be working with you all of your time here at Helix, helping you with scheduling your classes and creating your four year plan. If you are waitlisted, be patient, be patient, be patient. You'll wanna log into your Schoolman account to view your waitlist placement. All upper grade 10th through 12th grade applications will be placed on the waitlist until available seats are determined during May and June. Ninth grade students on waitlist will be contacted as seats become available in May and June. All students will be admitted in the order of lottery of results. Calling, emailing, or coming to campus to inform the team of your desire to attend Helix is not necessary. Moving into the area after you've been placed on the waitlist will not alter your placement. For more information, you can read the Frequently Asked Questions document at www.helixcharter.net backslash enroll. If you still have questions that aren't answered by that document, please email us at enrollment at helixcharter.net. 
Thank you so much for your time.